YouTube, this is Brendan with Huzak Prep, and in this video we're going to be describing exponent rules. Now, for exponent rules, a little bit more complicated than the previous video, we can see that we have an expression here that's being raised to another power. Now, when we have exponents raised to exponents, we know we multiply, but when we have this many uh, variables and numbers inside, we have to distribute the two to every single one of the other exponents. So distributing two in, we would end up with, what's wrong with this? We would end up with five squared, which is 25, times x to the fourth, times two, which is x to the eighth. Two squared is going to give us four, y squared squared is going to give us y to the fourth, and x squared squared is going to give us x to the fourth. Now, when we're dividing in the same basis present, we can subtract. So x to the eighth over x to the fourth will just become x to the fourth because eight minus four. And in the denominator, we will have four y to the fourth. And that's it. Now, we can take a look at another problem. So here, I'm going to do the same thing, where the 4 has to be distributed to every exponent. So first, I'm going to have 5 to the 4th times x to the 12th times y to the 8th times z to the 20th. This is going to be divided by 3 to the 4th times x to the 8th times y to the 20th times z to the eighth. Now, when solving these problems, five to the fourth gives us 625. X to the 12th over x to the eighth, we can subtract and end up with x to the fourth. Y to the eighth over y to the 20th, we subtract and we get y to the negative 12th. Z to the 20th over z to the eighth, is going to give us z to the 12th, and 3 to the 4th is going to give us 81. Now, typically we don't like to leave exponents negative, so what we do is we drop the y to the 12th down to the denominator. And that would be our final answer. It's possible they ask you to simplify 625 over 81, but they don't share a common factor, so there's no way to simplify that. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.